Today, these college dropouts are going to take the Harvard entrance exam. I shouldn't be here then. Shh, oh, bleep everything she says, Corey. Okay, <laughs> these questions are based on the Harvard entrance exam from 1869, the year that mom was born. Kidding, mom. It was 68, was kidding, was you got it wrong. It's 1968. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1868 on the thing. No, I mean, oh, I you, it was nice. you would be like almost 69? 200. See, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm, le <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. She didn't even do that math on the year. <laughs> Sit down. You're making it take no, longer than it has down. to. I don't want to do this. Jen, you'll get some right. No, good. I won't. Uh, people were slightly less educated back then, so these questions might not be as difficult as Harvard's exams would be today, but they are still difficult. Especially for this group. Okay, question Shut number the one. Up. Rules. There are 10 questions. Each question is worth 10 points. You have 30 seconds to answer each question by writing it on your whiteboard. We will give you three hints and the chance to change your answer. You must get 50 points to pass the entrance exam. Like, like the f I want to go to Harvard? That's Why would e. I want to go to That's Harvard? That's literally an E. You need an E to pass. Is E for excellent? E, yeah, yes, yes. The exam will begin now. Ready? Question number one. You have 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. Why are you doing this? You shouldn't have put the one dot because I thought that was part of the equation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this isn't part. We have Kennedy's friend Scarlett over on the side there trying to do it herself. <laughs> are you Scar? Yeah, I'm gonna try. 10 seconds. I hope that's right. I'm not to be really embarrassed. I have no idea if it's You're right. a snowman. Is that a snowman? Okay. No. First hint. Yeah, I know. Oh, I wrote that. I did do PEMDAS. <laughs> I can never remember if it's PEDMAS. Do you want to keep your answer? PEMDAS. What does that mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> Parentheses, <laughs> exponents, multiplication, multiplication division, division, addition, addition subtraction. subtraction. Multiplication and division are done at the same time from left to right. Oh my God. Can you just give us a what answer? Did you say? Do you want to keep your answer? Yes. I'm not changing it. Are you sure? Hint number three. Did that. Think. What do you mean think? Eight divided by two. No, multiplication is first. It's one, the answer is one. Oh, they're done at the same time? Eight divided by two times four. Oh. Is it 16? So yeah. four times four? Oh, you guys, what the, what the f is the point of PEMDOS? Yeah, what? We're locking them in. The answer is 16. I wrote that. It says who? Like, it says who? It says PEMDOS. Yeah, but who? That's not PEMDOS. It is you didn't get it at all. No, it's not. <laughs> who created that? That makes no Yes. Okay, you ready? No. Do I get a buy point? I yeah. hate math. Me point. too. I math. Question number two. Which civilization is credited with inventing makeup? What the f? Are there multiple choice? You have 30 seconds. Harvard and civilization have multiple choice. What the f? What, what the f is a civilization? Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> Come on, you guys know this. Really think. I don't even, I don't think I'm right, but I don't even think this is- Okay, same. first hint. Answer could be Romans, Greeks, Egyptians, or Chinese. Oh, oh mom's probably right then. Do any of you want to change your answer? Yeah, I'm changing it, obviously. I'm just gonna keep it. If I'm right, I'm, I'm right gonna flip Chinese, out. Though. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, Claudia, what are you writing that's so long? <laughs> Okay, hint two. This civilization is known for its elaborate burial rituals. That makes me think Romans. Oh, wow, am I right? I'm gonna go back to Romans. <laughs> am I actually right? How'd you get that right, Mom? I, I could tell you in a minute if it's right. Okay, hint right. three. Cleopatra, a famous oh, yeah. ruler of this civilization, was renowned for her makeup. They don't give right. these hints on a real exam. Holy well, we need it for you guys. I can't Mom believe got it. it right. <laughs> <laughs> Mom got it right. Good job, Mom. I got it right. You know why? Because of Cleopatra. That's good, that was the last hint. Good job. She's the only one I, I can think of that had no. makeup. They used to use cherry juice, see how it stains? They used to put that on the lips. People still do that. Mom, I'm I'm proud of you. This is the first time you've ever got something right on one of these tests. Well, that's because it's makeup, probably. Okay, good job, guys. You all got it. But mom gets the most points because she got it first. That was impressive. So I'm impressed with myself. Yeah, that was really good, mom. Is that worth 50 points? It's worth 10. Okay, you ready for the next one? What are the names and order of the first five presidents of the United States? Gross, Brandon. Why the f should I know or care? This is like making me hate hate myself. <laughs> it's okay. I don't I don't know this. So I don't even know five U.S. presidents. Can't remember. William. Bob. Wilbur. Fred. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> I don't know. I forget. Einstein. JFK <laughs> was the second. Least I know JFK that. was the second U.S. president. Bush. Excuse Bush me. was in like 2000 something. Hint. I need a hint. No. Okay, just hold out what you have right now, so that the audience. Abe Lincoln. 
Oh, oh yeah. Willis. Oh, Willis. Truman. <laughs> Mom, Truman is like the 60s. At least all you guys, well, most of you guys worked on actual president's names. That's a good thing. Okay, first hint. George Washington was the first president. We got that one. Guys. Second, second hit. The other president's names were Jefferson, Madison, oh. Adams, and Monroe. Okay. So you I just don't help. know. Thomas Jefferson. James Madison. Is that what it was? You don't even know the first name. Yeah, John right. Adams. Is it John Adams? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Who's Monroe? Maryland? <laughs> Okay. So close. None of us have what's missing. Last hit. Madison and Monroe were fourth and fifth. You got a 50 50 shot with this one. So you have a 50 50 shot to get this right. <laughs> They're switched. <laughs> They're switched. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe. Woo! I got it right. Wait, let me remember. Is, is it John Adams? Is it Samuel Adams? <laughs> That's a beer. She, oh. she just keeps talking about their first names. <laughs> Ask me something that matters, <gasps> and I still probably won't know it. <laughs> Name three stories written by William Shakespeare. Jen, you know this. Is it no, one I of don't. them? Is it one of them? Stop saying, is it one of them? <laughs> just write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yelling. Uh, I only know one, and I don't even know if it's right. That is right, Mom. Yeah. Mom, hide your board. Your daughter's cheating off of you. <laughs> I keep seeing her glancing over. You're glancing at my <laughs> <laughs> You're cheating off of me? <laughs> that kind of that's that's never that. in my I, life That's what I was speaking of, but I couldn't remember. I only cheat off people. <laughs> Gone with the wind? <laughs> <laughs> the fault in our stars. <laughs> the fault in our stars. <laughs> Let us cheat off of you. No. Hint number one. One of his stories was the star. Okay, hit number two. We all got that. One of his stories was about a gloomy young man whose name sounded like a slice of pork, which was copied by Disney and turned into the Lion King. Simba? <laughs> we have no idea. Hit three. One of his stories is titled using the blanks Big Blank plus Queen Eliza Blank. Big and <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> it's a porn. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's like, finally. <laughs> really? What'd you put? <laughs> Yo, when did Claudia write? Ben the Ben. Ben. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Big Ben and Queen oh, Elizabeth. The answers. Oh, Hamlet. Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Macbeth. Oh, see, the ones that I wrote. I'm yeah. pissed because I know wow. I know that those names, Kennedy. but I just wouldn't yeah. ever like. I'm not a theater I put girl. Big me and Queen Elizabeth. Big, <laughs> big what? You didn't put big what in okay. there. What, what's like, big? Big blank. What Mac. is that? Big Mac. Oh my Wait, god. Wait, prep your brains for so the stupid. next one. Okay. Wait, Lion King is based off Hamlet. Lion King is a rip of Hamlet. Yeah, really. I would not have gotten that. The only one I ever question cared about. might have been my saving grace. Do a nursing question. I'll get it right. I don't like this. Oh, this is a nursing question. Perfect. Are you guys ready? What is the main purpose of a cardiac stress test in medical diagnosis? Do you know it? I mean, an idea of it. I don't know. To keep you alive. Think about it. Think about you go to the doctor and they give you this. Claudia's doing a essay over there. She is. Oh, no. She just erased her whole board. I can't learn it right. Because she's going to be humiliated if she gets it wrong. She talks about how she passed nursing school every video. Hint one, this might relate to the lungs, muscles, heart, or brain. Hint two, it involves monitoring blank during periods of exercise. I feel like you have, your answer is the question. That's pretty much what it is. Hint three, cardiac equals heart. It's literally like written in the question. The Can actual answer, to assess heart function under stress. I, 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 feel, like, I feel like they all got it. I got it right too. That's, that's not right though. Heart strength? Main purpose of a cardiac stress test is to test your heart under stress. Yeah. I would think that would be a given. Well, you didn't <laughs> get it right, so clearly it wasn't. <laughs> you didn't get it right! <laughs> clearly it wasn't! How did you knew I was gonna do it? I was waiting for what you're about to say. Uh, I wrote down your guys' points, not saying who got what. I, I you better, better have given me a 10. <laughs> no, you over there. Write I'll I'll take take the part straight. Okay, next. Next one. I'll take half for that. I think this is the hard logic one, so really pay attention. <gasps> really listen. Four people need to cross a bridge at night. Eighties. Mom, be quiet. They have one flashlight, and the bridge is too dangerous to cross without that flashlight. The bridge can only hold two people at a time. Person A takes one minute to cross. Person B takes two minutes to cross. Person C takes five minutes to cross. And person D takes eight minutes to cross the bridge. What is the minimum total time for all four of those people to get oh across the bridge? Oh my God. I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't. You can't cross the bridge unless I go with you. First hint. Answer could be 15 minutes, 17 minutes, 21 minutes, or 28 minutes. Not my answer. I'm just gonna pick one. I'm adding things up. Give me a f 
second. You don't have a second. It's question. so stupid. This makes me literally remember how much I hated school. <laughs> you want to phone a friend? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know her strong suit ain't math. <laughs> okay, hint number two. The fastest person should accompany the others and run back and forth with the flashlight. Oh, I know what it is. Scarlett, do you know? I think I what is it? <laughs> Are you trying to cheat, mom? Just write an answer so we can move on. No, I want to get it back. <laughs> Hit number three. The two slowest people should cross together. You just said the fastest person should go. Yeah, whoever wrote this, I hope you're dead. I don't think this is from a Harvard thing. Somebody made this up. The answer is 15 That's minutes. That's what I kept getting. It makes sense. Suck it. You can suck it. A and B cross which takes two minutes. Got that. Then A runs back. So that makes it three minutes. C and D cross, that's 11 minutes. Did you get it? No, no. <laughs> B runs back, which adds two. And then A and B cross together, so that takes 15. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> oh, 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 because once they're on the other side, then they send that person back. This is back. a really hard question, this actually. Is yeah. hard okay, I, I understand it, but let's move on. Move on. This one sounds harder than it is. <gasps> <laughs> what is the area of a 2D ring with the inner diameter being eight centimeters and the outer diameter being 10 centimeters? Is there like a formula that we're supposed to know? Yeah, yeah, and I don't remember it. it. It's in the next. Wait, wait, don't tell me the head yet. All the way across that way? Yeah. Oh, oh, I have to subtract. Look at mine, bitch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Stop hiding it. <laughs> I don't know. You yeah, I got it. What Girl, you don't know what the it is, I promise you that. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. There's a formula. Forget the formula. I memorized that because I made up a song for formulas when I was in ninth grade and I still remember it because it was to the it was to the tune of um a fray song. Can you sing it? <laughs> Cone is pi r l plus pi r squared. Oh my god, I didn't learn any of that. <laughs> formula is pi r squared. A pi? I can draw a pi. Just just give them the first hint because they're not getting it. A diameter is two times radius. The area of a circle is pi r squared. It's a pi when somebody ate a piece. <laughs> you need to find the area of this one and the area of a small circle and then subtract them. Oh this Lord, is I don't know area? What, what they're doing over yeah. there. Yeah. There's parentheses and everything. <laughs> And it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm really impressed with myself. Honestly. I'm impressed with you, Ken. Oh, yeah. Matt, think, just fill in the blank. Fill in what blank? The R. The radius, it's half the diameter. Stop talking to me like this. I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> I, you stoop, speak English. Okay, Mom. Mom, the outer ring. <laughs> I don't want to hear Mom, it anymore. Listen, yeah. this? I think you did the subtraction wrong. I did that wrong. Yeah, you're off by one. <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. Oh, nine. She wrote eight pi instead of nine. <laughs> wow, I can't believe okay, I didn't yeah. learn this stuff in school. Okay, yeah, mom, we didn't do geometry in homeschool. Uh, no, I didn't do geometry in regular schooling. <laughs> okay, so the answer is nine pi. Don't okay. worry, mom, you don't no. need to know this. I didn't literally make, don't. I literally didn't make it past algebra one. Mom, I two years in a row. Smart. Huh? You're the most street smart person I know. <laughs> there you go. Did you hear that? <laughs> Nobody cares. Well, I care. Most of the time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, most of the time. Scarlett, who discovered pie? I'm just say some funny thing. To Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Translate the Latin phrase, amor, vincit omnia. Huh? To English. You know for sure one of these. Oh, yeah. Translate the phrase. The first one. <laughs> First hint, amor means love. Yeah, I got that. Hint number two, vincit comes from the verb vincir, which means to win, to prevail, to defeat, or to conquer. Oh. All these people who know Spanish are gonna be making fun not, of us. Well, it's Latin, it's not Spanish. You know the phrase. Mom, think about love and then think about the second hint and what it's saying. Down the you list. It conquers all. Yeah. Okay, good, y'all got it. So omnia has the root omni, which means omnidirectional, omni. Yeah, omnipotent. like I don't know what omnipotent means. <laughs> if somebody uh, used the word omnipotent to me face to face, I would smack them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine. Describe the three main ingredients for photosynthesis as well as the two main products. Mm. So that's what they produce. Isn't Very it close. Chlora something. You're off by a little bit. Oh, it's carbon. It's interesting, you all said the same thing. Well, I what? changed my answer because I saw their board. The That's not want. fair. Yeah, you're seeing Eric's thing. boards, but you're not letting us see your board. Yeah, ever. well, your answers were wrong, so you made me wrong. <laughs> you cheated on me, but I can't see your no. You can't. Protect your board then. I know, right? Beauty! <laughs> 
Wow. Stop looking at my board. Photosynthesis uses light as an energy source. Plants that use photosynthesis breathe in and breathe out the opposite chemicals that humans do. One of the products is food for the plant. Pollinator. Pollen. Oh. <laughs> you remember this one? There you go. Okay, the correct answer was sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, and they produce oxygen and glucose. Well, goddamn. <laughs> okay, we are on to the final one, and then we get the, the official results. This one's a brain teasing, but you may have heard it before. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't three. like it when my brain is teased. You are in a room with two doors. One door leads to freedom, the other to imprisonment. There are two guards, one in front of each door. One guard always tells the truth, the other always lies. You do not know which guard is which. How do you find the correct door? There's a one single question you can ask. Whoa, it's like a riddle. Mm -hmm. Close enough. Do you know which guard is which? It literally says, you do not know which guard is which. Oh. <laughs> It's a specific question? Yeah. I don't know. My question would find out. <laughs> be aggressive. That's all we would need. I think the only things that you know for sure is that one tells the truth and one lies. Yeah, but they could both give the same answer and one could be lying. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> you tell the truth. That doesn't give you the you answer. Still lie. <laughs> Jen, think if one of them lies, how would you know if they tell the truth? I, the, after you said that, now I don't know. So who would you ask about instead? The, oh, I would ask the one that actually. Oh, I, I don't know. Do you lie. ask about the other man? Ask one of them about the other okay, one. Okay, first hint. Both guards would give the same answer to the correct question. Your question should be asking one guard something about the other guard. Know that the liar would give you the opposite of the answer you want. It's basically like a question about like double negatives. Well, yeah, because one's always going to lie. One's always telling the truth. Should I give the answer? Sure, give us no. the answer. Answer, ask either guard, what would the other guard say? Is the, fr it's the freedom door. The correct door is the opposite of their answer. Huh? Say it again, what? So dumb. I still don't get it. Who, it's making me feel this really This is for dumb. people, I don't know what brain side I am, but this is for right. the opposite I side. I don't know who would. Yeah. Because they're both going to point to the prison door regardless. Because yeah. the truth teller knows that the liar is going to point to the prison door. You should ask them, which door is the prison door? What door would the other one say is the prison door? Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, no, the thing is, is the truth teller knows that the liar's gonna lie. So the truth teller is telling you right then and there what the liar's answer is gonna be because they can't lie to you. So and it works so, the other way around too. Yeah. The liar oh my god, I'm. I'm. I'd be I can't. like. The thing is, if we don't know who's telling the truth and who's lying, then I'm like, I don't know which answer because to- They're gonna say the same thing. They're both gonna point to the prison door. So you know, okay, they're both pointing to the prison door. I'm gonna go to this other door because the truth teller just told me which one's the prison door, basically. That kind of makes sense. In like a roundabout way. Yeah. I don't- uh, I keep getting it for like a split second and then losing it. Yeah, same. My brain's like- My brain's like, I'm almost there! <laughs> <laughs> My brain's on fire right now on the inside. Yeah. It's like that SpongeBob My brain where they're hurts. throwing the paper. <laughs> Final results, Kennedy, you passed the Harvard entrance exam. Yep. Claudia, you passed the Harvard entrance I'm exam. I'm gonna be the one that doesn't pass, because <laughs> that's always the case. Aww. Aww. I didn't. You were very close, <laughs> but you failed the Harvard entrance exam. Of course I did. <laughs> because I didn't get that one well, dumb pie bad. one. It doesn't end. take anything away from you. Yeah. The end. It's okay, these aren't practical for any real world situation. Yeah, but all the comments are like, America. Americans are so stupid. Yeah, we are. For anyone writing that, if you are here right now in this room taking the test, because of the pressure, you would do terrible. Now I'm gonna go so home and cry all day. Thank God I have 11 cats to cuddle. Okay, good job guys. Proud of you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.